Calculate your app on your Mac seems pretty simple at first, but there is a lot of advanced functionality built in. Let me show you the best features you might not know about. Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy, channel dedicated to help you mastering your Mac. From basic tips to advanced tricks, and this time we will look at the simple calculator app. You can launch it from the application folder searching by Spotlight or from the launchpad. You can even put it in the dock if you plan to use it often. Once you open it, it looks like a normal calculator. But the first thing I'm going to show you is something that no normal calculator does. This is to allow you to delete the last number you pressed. So I will type a number here and let's say I made a mistake and I want to clear that last digit. On a normal calculator you would clear it all and start over again, but here you can just use the delete key on your keyboard and delete the last number. You can go all the way back to the beginning one by one. And you can actually do that on the iPhone as well even though you don't have a delete key there. But a simple swipe right will remove the last number. Another thing you can do since you are on the Mac is to copy and paste the results. Let's calculate something. I can use the edit menu and select copy and now paste into another app. You can't select the digits but the command C shortcut still works. If you have a calculator selected you can press command C to copy and command D to paste the number. And you can actually do it in the other way as well, to paste something into calculator. So I type a number in another app, select it, command C to copy, then go to calculator and command V will pass that number in. What is a cool function is that calculator can speak the results. Actually, it can speak everything. It's useful if you have long results or maybe good as a double check that you don't press a wrong number. To activate it, go to speech menu and select speak result. Speech enabled. And you can also tick on the other option, speak button pressed. And now all I press here will be followed by sound. Divided by 1, 0, 10.4. Another thing you could do is to show the result larger and in the middle of the screen. Once I have a number here, I can right click it or two finger click on the trackpad and select large type. It will appear here. Well, it doesn't do anything else, it will disappear once you click on another number, so it's kind of a useless feature, but just good to know that it exists. Now while this calculator looks really simple, you actually have three calculators in one in this app. You can switch to one or other calculators from the view menu and you have a choice of basic, then scientific and also programmer calculator. So let's switch to scientific. The keyboard shortcut is command 2. Now you get a scientific calculator. So this might be more of what you are used to if you have an advanced calculator. And you can get even more functions if you hold down the shift key. Then you can also switch to programmer calculator and you get a whole different set of functions here. If you are a coder, it might be useful for you. But in most cases, you will be just switching between the basic and the scientific calculator. And there is actually a quick way to do it. Yes, you can use the shortcut command 1 and command 2. Or press the green button, which will do it as well. Now, when you have a calculator like this, you might not know what all of these functions and keys does. You can get quick info if you put your cursor over a key and wait. There is also a pretty good help document, if you go to help menu and open it. Calculator help explains a lot of functionality, so if you need help with some functions or commands, it's worth checking it. Now one more thing this calculator app does, which almost no regular calculator can do, is to make conversions. You can enter in a number and then you open convert menu and here you have all these different types of measurements. So for example, I can convert kilometers to miles. And what is quite exciting is that you can convert from one currency to another one using calculator. 
and it will actually check the internet and get the current rates. So let's convert euros to American dollars. And you can see here the last updated value and where the data is coming from. So you don't need to search the internet for currency converter. You have it all in here. And the good thing is that the convert menu also has recent conversions here at the top. So you don't have to keep looking for a conversions that you are doing all the time. Now a really cool thing that the calculator app has is paper tape. So go to window, show paper tape or command T and you get this little window here. Everything that you do will appears here in the paper tape. So you can keep record of all of your calculations. And further, you can actually select all of your calculations and copy the results into your documents or anywhere else. You can even print this or save it as a PDF. Now calculator also does something called reverse polish notation, RPN. If you go to view and turn on RPN mode, it will now give you this tag here. If you are not familiar with reverse polish notation, it allows you to do things where you can control the order of operations a little bit more. So for example, if I want to calculate 1 plus 2 multiplied by 5, you know that multiplication should be first. And we can do it using this function. So let's enter the numbers. 1, enter, 2, enter and 5. And then I have those numbers here in the stack. I can multiply the last two with multiplication. So 2 multiplied by 5 will get me 10 and then plus 1. And this way you will get the correct result. As you can see, calculator app is actually pretty powerful and capable of doing just about anything you need. Did you know all of these functions? And do you want to know more about your Mac and applications you have in there? Then subscribe to Eplonan Academy and I will see you in the next video.